Hi, this is Todd, and the purpose of this video is to try to demonstrate uh, when we can handle uh, younger Papilio interminori caterpillars and when we should uh, probably cut them away and, and allow them to molt their skin. Um, as you can see, uh, we have a caterpillar on the left who is quite agitated because he is set to molt. And when caterpillars are set to molt, they do not like to be disturbed. Uh, removing them from the stalk can be quite harmful because they attach themselves to the stalk so they can push away from their cast larval skin to form another instar. As you can see, the caterpillar now that's on the bottom has already molted and is looking for food, and he is very much disturbing the caterpillar on top because the caterpillar on top does not want to move. So the question is, if we shouldn't remove caterpillars from off the stalks when they're set to molt, what does set to molt look like? Well, basically the head capsule is a lot smaller than the width, average width of the, uh, of the caterpillar itself. Let me see if I can demonstrate this with this third instar right here that's set to molt. If you look towards the head, and I don't know if I can get this digicam to zoom in correctly, the head is much smaller than the average, how shall I say, the circumference of the caterpillar itself. And so you can see that a new head is forming. If I take a teasing needle, I don't want to, let's see if I can do this here. I take a teasing needle and gently push on the on the butt of the caterpillar. Let's see here. He's going to object and not want to not want to move. He's going to leave me alone and set to molt. On the other hand, we see a caterpillar here that is, has no problem wandering around the plant because he is not set to molt. And the size of his head is roughly or maybe a little bit smaller than the average circumference uh, of the caterpillar's body itself. So it merely takes practice to understand when a caterpillar is set to molt, and obviously when he is not. Okay. Uh, here's another example of a caterpillar that's set to molt, if I can get the focus to work. And again, the acid test to do is simply take, there we go, teasing needle and push on the back of the caterpillar and if he objects like that he's set to molt so as you can see what I've done here when I'm changing out the plant is take the little sprig that he's on cut around it and place it adjacent to some fresh house plant. Thanks.